the name on this shirt is revered across Canada. And what are you excited about? Seeing the hip. This is cool, you know? But for fans in the tragically hip's hometown, the notion this could be the last show is hard to take. It's just sad, happy, everything, uh, every emotion that you can think of, I think everybody in Kingston is going to be feeling tonight. The university town, usually quiet in the summer, is preparing for a historic night. I think it's fair to say that this is probably the biggest event that we have ever hosted. The end of the Man Machine Poem Tour, one many say is the band's last because of lead singer Gord Downey's terminal brain cancer. Where are you sitting tonight? <laughs> uh, extremely fortunate to get front row tickets. Eric McKenzie will see the band for an eighth time this tour. He started off in Victoria on July 22nd and says the band and Downey have shown incredible courage. They are literally doing what they love doing and they're not letting anything stop them. It's very inspiring. The hip have always kept close ties to Kingston, often donating the proceeds of their shows to local charities. Now some in town are returning the favor. Perfect for the summer. Like I think you should enjoy this while looking at a nice Canadian landscape, listen to the hip. <laughs> It's called Pretty Things, inspired by the song Wheat Kings. The brewery hopes to raise $5,000 for brain cancer research from sales of beers, t-shirts, and posters. People have been super, super supportive of it. Uh, we sold out all of our bottles yesterday in an hour and a half, which was insane. We had like a lineup at the door. A city ready to celebrate more than 30 years of musical memories. Kevin Gallagher, CTV News. Kingston.